is the front of Judge Beckett's property. It's enormous. It looks very luxurious, Holmes. This man has conducted his career brilliantly. Who says that crime doesn't pay? It all depends upon for whom. You never said a truer word, Watson. Now, let's try to find a way in. What's that package you are carrying, Holmes? You haven't said a word about it all the way here. Cakes for my old aunt. <laughs> Your old aunt? Stop pulling my leg, Holmes. If you want a sensible answer, then you should ask a sensible question. Very well. I'm going to ring the doorbell. That should be an appropriate task for someone like me. No, leave it. I'll do it. No reply. The house seems empty. Shall we wait, Holmes? No. We shall enter discreetly. The judge's absence is a blessing. It means that we can investigate without being disturbed. You're thinking of breaking into the judge's house? Have you gone mad, Holmes? Don't worry. I shall be careful to remove any traces of our visit. Listen to yourself, Holmes. You're talking like a common criminal. This lock should be easy to pick. Let's see. I need a supple pin, Watson. Can you find me one? Very well, Holmes. Dr. Watson, how lovely to see you again. Do you remember me? Of course, Miss Lucy. How could anyone forget so pretty a smile? You are looking quite lovely. I'm pleased to see that you are no longer living within that dreadful area of Whitechapel, even though the shadow of Jack no longer haunts it. It certainly wasn't a place for a young woman such as yourself. Ah, Lucy, you have no idea how heartlifting it is to meet you here like this, particularly at this time. Tell me what you've been doing. You've become a florist. Oh, yes, Doctor, I am a florist. And I'm married now with beautiful little twin girls. Congratulations, Lucy. Enough about me. Can I help you with something? A pretty bouquet, perhaps? Not at the moment, Lucy. I really need a supple metal stem. A plant prop should do. Oh, I see. Is it to open a door or a window? Aha, Lucy. You are a surprising lady. Let's just say that the lock on the door to my flat gets stuck and I should like to get in through the window. In that case, a prop wouldn't work. Better to use a hair grip. It's the ideal tool for an honest man who wants to get into his house without going in through the door. You are wonderful, Lucy. Goodbye, Doctor. Here you are, Holmes. Perfect. This lock should be easy to pick. Let's see. That's not right. Start again. That's not right. That's not right. Stop. That's not right. Stop. That's not right. Start again. That's not right. Start again. Good, we can pass. Here's the kitchen. There's enough room to feed a dozen people in here. Yes, according to the newspaper, the judge's wife also feeds her pupils, in addition to teaching them.
cooking oil. Cooking oil. There is something interesting here. An ore lock. This isn't the place for it. This classroom is magnificent. These children are very lucky. This is a photo of the judge and his wife. This photograph was taken on Judge Beckett's wedding day. Can you hear that small metallic sound? There is something inside there. It is a wedding present. It must have a special meaning for Miss Beckett. The most romantic evening of my life, in the heat of Bombay. Apparently they were unmarried at the time, I cannot see a wedding ring. This is a photo of the judge and his wife. This photograph was taken on Judge Beckett's wedding day. This photograph was taken on Judge Beckett's wedding day. Big Ben. The judge got married in London and early in the morning as it is just 10 a.m. The clock points to 6 p.m. Interesting. There is some connection between cities and numbers on top of the box, but I lack the necessary information to obtain the solution. Perfect. The clock points to 6 p.m. Interesting. Apparently they were unmarried at the time. I cannot see a wedding ring. Perfect. There we are. It is simplicity itself. A book about student organizations in the United States of America. This plan is useless. This overall belongs to the young James. Sweet papers fallen from a pupil's overall pocket. The door handle has been removed. It's a sweet box, probably for rewarding good pupils. One of the Greek books is open, perhaps the subject of the last lesson. Everything points to someone who does not wish us to open this cabinet, which is a good enough reason for opening it. Well, the young James has stolen the handle to the sweet cupboard so that he can pilfer it whenever he likes. If we find his desk, 
we will find the handle. The door handle has been removed. Or lock. This screw is stuck. It is preventing the picture from turning. The blackboard shows the last lesson given to the children, ancient Greek. This woman is admirable. As she was unable to have children of her own, she decided to care for hundreds of others. A desire to cook. This screw is stuck. It is preventing the... Greek letters. Copy them down, dear fellow. Very well, Holmes. It's a plan of the classroom. Thanks to this plan, we will know which desk belongs to James.
All right, let's open James's desk. It's a plan of the classroom. The door handle. It's a sweet. There are naughty children in every school, from what I can see. There is no point in visiting the upper floors. We know from the newspapers that this building is deserted, so there is no risk of anyone coming down and surprising us. We are in the judge's private office, Holmes. What are you going to do? Turn everything upside down? That is a distinct possibility. I will not leave until I have found what I am looking for. A Habano Clorissimo cigar. Don't forget your cakes when we leave, Holmes. Of course, Watson. Blind justice, from whence his ignorance, amusing. Nothing but trophies. The judge must be very proud of them. Nothing of interest here. What do you think, Holmes? I can make out a mechanism at the bottom of each of these holes. I can make out a me Or lock. It must be a souvenir. The judge used to row. Beckett, honorary member. This must be the symbol of an organization to which the judge belongs. Look at this symbol. It must surely be very important to Judge Beckett. The young Beckett and his friends rowing. A souvenir from the University of New York. That's the university where Judge Beckett studied. I can make out a mechanism at the bottom of each of these holes. A Greek letter. The list of symbols of the American universities. The list of symbols of the American universities.
a Greek letter. The list of symbols of the American universities. The list of symbols. I am missing some information. I am missing. I am missing some information. Please take note, Watson. We are making headway. How do we know what this means? I can make out... This note must surely be very important to Judge Beckett. The list of symbols of the American universities. I can make out a mechanism at the bottom of each of these holes. These oars can turn. Well done, Holmes. Incredible. Masses and masses of files. Holmes, these files, these cards, these reports, 
They're all about you. So it would seem. Your whole career is mapped out here, investigation by investigation. Look, a detailed report about your work in Whitechapel during the Ripper affair. And there, your relationship with a certain A. Lupin. And here, the details of your methods and transcriptions of your conversations with the greatest violent criminals. My God, look at the titles of the files. Fraud, deception, corruption, forgery, murder. What does it all mean? Quiet. Let me concentrate. Concentrate? This judge has the reputation of being the most honest in the kingdom, and he has built an overwhelming pile of documents as high as Big Ben about you, and you talk of concentration? To open his chest, to what end? Quiet. Holmes, answer me. What is the real reason for our being here? Did you know what we were going to find before we came here? Evidently. So that is the real reason behind this break-in. You're only interested in the contents of the chest. All the rest of it was nothing more than lies and manipulation. The most important is the one in the chest, Watson. There. I have what I came for. Show me the file, Holmes. It is unnecessary, Watson. It's a file about you, isn't it? Is it so compromising that you don't dare show it to me? You came here to steal the research about you carried out by Judge Beckett, Holmes. It was the only thing that interested you. We'll see about that later. We must put everything back in its place. No one must know that we've been here. Help me. Go and put the paddles back into their original position and I'll deal with the rest. But that's the plan of my flat. I mean, our flat.
quick, Watson. We must get out of this house. Immediately. What? But... Be quick, man. It's urgent. Because of you, we have to flee like common criminals, which it seems we have now become. I only hope that the game is worth the risk. Show me the file right now. Let's find a cab as quickly as possible. We can't stay here. Why are you in such a hurry? You... Wait! Look over there. Judge Beckett. Yes, it's him. Let's go and talk to him. It's too late. Do as you wish, Holmes, but I need to hear an explanation about what was in that armored room. I'm going. No, stay here. That's an order. Your giving orders changes nothing. I'm going to talk to Judge Beckett, and you will not stop me. Watson! Watson! Are you all right? My God! What happened? Lucy! Oh, Lucy, poor girl. I must do something. Holmes, I need your help here. Forgive me, Watson, but I'm afraid that I must leave now. Leave? What the devil do you mean? Holmes, come back here! Holmes!